everyone, it's Marina from Diamond Painting the Besties. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope everybody's week is starting off great and you're kind of gearing back up and finding some motivation after that long weekend from Thanksgiving holiday. So we have an unboxing, an untubing, what have you, whatever you want to call it. This is a triple treat, triple treat from Treasure Studios Art. I ordered these on October 21st and I got them like earlier in the week. So it was probably like a month it took. So not bad at all. Do keep in mind if you're new that Treasure Studios Art does not mass produce. They make these to order and they're coming from Australia. However, that is not why it takes long. It takes long because they're made to order. So you just go into the queue and wait, they do ship DHL, so I've gotten it, like once it's shipped, I think three or four days, um, five at the most, and it actually got here three days earlier than it was supposed to. So I was really excited about that. So enough about me and my mail, how long my mail takes. Let's get into this. So I'm gonna start off with this one because uh, the little bottom part came off, which is fine. Now, um, when Treasure Studio Art ships things to you, it actually comes in a white box. So these each came in their own white box, in addition to this very sturdy tube. And it was covered with, you know, the trash bag with the yellow tape. So very, very sturdy. So the fact that this is the only thing, um, I it's not a big deal to me. So the first one we're going to undo um, unbox is Candyland by Lizzie Falcon. And this is a... 60 by 70 centimeter and I'm not sure if I got round or square because I can't remember but that is the little thumbnail that it is I was so excited um Lizzie Falcon is one of is my favorite artist on uh that is licensed by Treasure Studios Art so every time there's new Lizzie's I have to um just go ahead and get it now hopefully I can get to all three of these so let's pull this out of the tube and let's see what we have. All right, make sure there's nothing else in there. I absolutely love these tubes. They don't take up very much room at all and I can store them. So your kit will come in this plastic dust bag, which I do my very best to get them back in. So I'll just put this over to the side. Now, let's get our goodies out, our drills. All right, this is a round. Okay, so. Now this Treasure Studios Art does not use poured glue. This is a uh, mounted adhesive. And it is, it's actually pretty amazing. Um, your drills are not going anywhere. So be mindful when you put them down because if you make a mistake, use the tweezers. Do not drag it across like you can with poured glue because you could potentially tear the adhesive that is on here. Um, so with that being said, the reason why I pointed that out is do not roll this the opposite way like you would for poured glue. So um, at the top we have Treasure Studios Art. We have the branding at the top and it says uh, the Diamond Art Kit and we create magic. And then up here you have a thumbnail which is attached to one of your legends. I just love, oh my God, I love it so much. I love it. Let's, let's take a look at her. Come on. Now, remember, um, Lizzie Falcon is exclusive to Treasure Studios Art. She is not licensed with any other company. So just remember that. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this. It's so different. Oh my God. So if it is curling up or not laying flat, all you have to do is gently pull back on this thicker plastic cover that they have. They have a very thick cover. So slowly pull back on it. See, mine came up a little bit because I was not being careful. So all you have to do is just gently tap it back down came up just a tad on the end just yeah be very careful don't do don't be like Miranda. so I only have to do a little bit and then 
it will lay flat. You might just wanna do one corner at a time. And then just, there you go, it's laid down. I did get a little air under here. Oh my goodness, I got a lot of air. Sorry guys. Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, if you go too fast, you trap a bunch of air under it. All right, so we have our legend in the upper right where our thumbnail is, but you also have the upper left. You also have one down here in the lower right as well. This is so cute. I love her hair and her face. We've got these really pretty trees in the background. We've got our little candy house back here with the clouds and the sky. This awesome gingerbread man, they're hanging out. They might be going somewhere. We have at the snow at the bottom. Now I have really enjoyed um, Shine. And if you guys did not see my post review or my unboxing for that, I will go ahead and put that up in the eye. I just posted a picture as well, and I really blinged her out. So that was a lot of fun. There are 40 colors in here, so not many at all. It's all letters and symbols. There are no numbers on here. And what I do enjoy about the when they render, Treasure Studio Arts does their rendering, is um, it's really, I don't, I don't know why I said render. Their symbols, the way it is, there's not a lot of confetti. There's a little bit like in here, but the entire thing is not confetti, like insane with Lizzie Falcon's work. Um, I love her big eyes. Um, I'll have to check out these colors because I would like to bling it out. I might just use white. I think that's what I'm, the 3865 AB, if I can find it, um, they even make that. That's what I think that I want to bling out um, to make it even brighter. And it'll look, really look pretty with these reds and pinks that are in here. Um, I love that her dress is flowing. However, I don't understand how she's not cold. So let's, I totally forgot to go over the toolkit, you guys. I am incredibly sorry. I'm just going to go over the toolkit once because each um, kit that you get you will get a toolkit and they are all exactly the same. So you get this really cute organza branded bag that I like to keep. You get a boat right here. You get a straightener, a seven placer and a four placer, the thin plastic ones. You get a pink squishy because pink is TSA's um, signature color. You get some wax right here and um, you get a drill pen. This has got the plastic tip. I love this because um, it helps, it's easier for me to use to pick up ABs. And then we have our pink tweezers right here. Um, they are not sharp, they're rounded, but still uh, safety, keep the plastic on there. So let me just go ahead and put this back in here. And push this off to the side. I'm just so out of order. So their can't their adhesive is very sticky, so I'm not gonna touch it. But I'll we'll bring you up so we can see the symbol clarity. I love the sky. It's something so different, and I love her face. The cloud. There's a little checkerboarding up in the sky right there. And then all that other pink right here is all color blocking. Um, there's some color blocking here. There's lots of opportunities for you to use your multi-placer. So let us look at these drills real quick. They do come pre-bagged. So I'm not going to take them out. Um, we'll, we'll still be able to look at them, but I wanted to pull out the inventory to show you all. So on their bags though, I will show you that they do have the DMC on there, this big old fat bag of 3865, kind of that off-white. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you have your 3865 right here. 
in the event that you do not enjoy working out of baggies, here is your inventory that has a larger picture right here. Candyland by Lizzie Falcon is a 60 by 70 centimeter round and it's checked off on your inventory and then it has uh, email and social media contacts also. Then it has your symbol and um, your inventory list with how the DMC code and how many of each you should have. And you can go ahead and run this through your sticker maker and create your own labels if you would rather work out of a container. So let me put this back in here and then we can look over the colors. There is greens and lots and lots of pinks in here. Now, uh, before I forget, I am, a, I wanted to put full disclosure, I am an ambassador for TSA and you can, use my link and my code to save some money on um, your purchase if you choose. There is absolutely zero obligation for you to do so. Just the fact that you're watching my videos is enough for me. However, I did want to let you know that if you chose to purchase that way, that I would make a small or potentially make a small commission, which in turn would go right back into the channel. Now, um, they are still currently having their Pink Friday sale and they have an amazing um discount percentage off there um and which is bigger which is a bigger discount than i would receive because you can only use one or the other however you can still use my link that will take you directly to the sale if you choose so look at these we've got pinks purples we've got some browns some burgundies some green and some uh, that big old bag of off white. We have that mint, whitish, that little mint, light mint color right here. Some more pinks and everything. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So let us move on to the next one. I'm just going to flip her over like this. Now, the second one we have is also by Lizzie Falcon, and it is Sweet Treat by Lizzie Falcon right here. Let's get her out so you get a better look at her. Oh, goodness. And I believe that she is around as well. All right, there's nothing else in there. Put that down to the side. I wanted to get them both because they're literally like, to me, in my, with the colors and everything, it's like a set. Everything is falling out, but, but the canvas. Good gravy. Once again, here's our toolkit right here. We have our drills. And this is also a round, so I'm getting smart. And then there's a better picture of her. We'll get into that later. But let us take a look at this canvas right here. Now she's a little wound up a little more tight, so we might have to pull back our edges so she will lay flat. And did I say she's also a, yeah, she is also a 60 by 70. So like I showed you guys in the last one, I'm not sure if you could see it as well. This plastic is so thick. It'll literally snap back right on you. Be careful when you're pulling it back because you don't want that mounting adhesive to pop up. And then you just kind of slowly, so you can prevent the air bubbles from getting back in. Got that, let's just do it real quick on the other side. So it's coming up on the edges, just tap it down. And we'll slowly work it back, sort of lay down. Now this one is a little more confetti heavy. Oh my God, I just looked at her through the camera. She's stunning. 
There's another one. Oh, from earlier. I'm not quite sure what her name is. If I can remember, I'll insert a picture right here. It's like her sister, but it's a totally different color scheme. I think like it's got ice cream and stuff in her hair. But this one is all candy. I guess hence her name, Sweet Treat. But I love it. It's still got that Christmas theme. We've got all this snow and trees in the background and that sky. It looks like a sunset to me. She's got her little bow tie and it looks like she has a little bustier. She has a little gingerbread man tattoo. Let me kind of hold this back. this side this one is much more so strike what i said earlier like i was trying to be you know thinking that i was going to get out of doing some confetti but i guess i'm not and that's okay i know you guys know that i don't like it but if the image is right i make an exception and i muscle through it i i can do this i can do it i just have to make smaller sections i just have to make smaller sections i can do this but oh my goodness isn't she stunning like um, there's a lot of confetti on her neck, so I'm really interested to see how that will come out. Um, her bow tie, like I said, I love her strands of hair, I like her little wispies. Oh my God, she is absolutely beautiful. Um, she has This has 35 colors in it. And I definitely think this one could get blinged out. What do you guys think? Like the red in the candy cane or the swirls within the lollipops, or maybe edging out, maybe on the outline of the, not the whole thing, but maybe the little outline of the cherry. Um, her eyes, maybe, I don't know, maybe not her eyes. What do you guys think? I can't tell. She's got little houses also, like right here, some houses in her hair. Let us look at this. Um, inventory real quick and remember I told you guys these do come pre-bagged which makes me very very happy all right so here we have sweet treat also a 60 by 70 round and here's our inventory showing that we have 35 colors it's marked off that it is a round right here Oh my God, she's so pretty. Maybe I should like the snow a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Help me out, you guys. Let Tell me what you think. She's got a little gingerbread man in her hair also. Cherries, lollipops, that candy cane. I, the de candy cane definitely needs to get blinged out. Definitely. Um, unfortunately, I probably won't be getting to these till next Next year, I don't know, maybe one of these times I'll just do like an entire month. Like I'll just work on all Christmas stuff because Lord knows I have enough Christmas ones. Christmas and Halloween, my two favorite holidays. So that is the second one. Sweet treat. What do you guys think of her? I think that she's absolutely beautiful. And these are like so manageable. Um, I didn't get the largest sizes. I felt as though that these were like 60 by 70 is kind of like my sweet spot and the size that I like the most. Um, so I'm really, really excited to have these in my stash. So we have time for the last one. We do, we do. So this last one though is a gift for Brad. You know, I, he already knows he's getting it and I already told him. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get it to him, but it'll be the next time I see him. Not like he's got time to work on him anyway. So this one is Beauty and the Eevee by Sao Sin. I hope I said that right. Sao Sin. It's a 55 by 80 centimeter right here. So he is a, a newer artist that has been licensed with TSA. And actually there was 
a bunch of his images just released for Pink Friday as well. So you want to go and hit that up if you enjoy his art. He does a lot of fan art. A little mixture of um, some Disney with Pokemon. And I absolutely love it. It's adorable. This image is so cute. And I know as much as I like it, I know Brad will like it even more. Because Beauty and the Beast is like one of his absolute favorite, favorite, favorite um uh, Disney movies, I'll give them that toolkit too, and I know that I have weight, I have enough already, and I like doing stuff for him, especially because he has hardly any time to diamond paint between working and school, so, all right, here we go, here's our thumbnail right up here, absolutely adorable so so cute now this one is larger and here are our pre bed throws again this is also a round and here is our image on here oh my goodness brad is going to gag this is so amazing it's huge. Oh my God, it's going to be so beautiful. Maybe I should just keep it for myself. No, I'm just kidding, Brad. Just kidding, Bestie. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So we have Evie here. We have the beauty here. Little birds coming up. She's holding a little bird. There's snow falling. There's a bird flying and here's part of the castle. There's lots of snow everywhere. There's a little bird sitting on Evie's head. There are 40 colors in this as well. There's lots of, look at that big bag of light bluish green. Oh, this color's pretty too. Look at that burgundy. So there's lots of pinks and grays. There's some, what is this color? Is this a pretty off-white as well? There's 3865. I'm not going to pull out all pulpit inventory for you guys. This is so beautiful. Brad is going to just die when he sees this. But anyway, here is a close-up of the image right there. I do think this is the largest size in this one, but I can't remember. But it lets you know the name, like I said, Beauty and the EV by Sam Sin, 55 by 80 centimeter. And there's a round. And then here is what your inventory looks like. And like I said earlier, you can go ahead and run that through your Xyron sticker maker, whatever sticker maker you may have. So that way it'll be easier. Oh my God, you guys, look at this pink. That is absolutely beautiful. I know Brad is going to be so excited when he sees this. I texted him, but he's he's working right now, so he probably won't get a chance to see it until later. But, yeah, I'm going to be giving this one to him, but I just did, well, I did want to unbox it to show you guys in case you had an interest in this artist. He has some really remarkable um, images, and I'm actually, like, totally blown away with how beautiful this looks. Um, it'll be exciting to see it done, but yeah, you guys, this is, uh, everything. This is my little haul from my last order from Treasure Studios Art. Let us recap real quick. We have Beauty and the Eevee, like I said, a 55 by 80 centimeter round. We then have Sweet Treat. Is this Sweet Treat? Yeah, Sweet Treat by Lizzie Falcon, which is a 60 by 70 centimeter yep, round right here. And this has 35 colors. Let's see. Oh my God. So beautiful. And last but not least, we have Candyland by... Lizzie Falcon as well. And this is also a 60 by 70 centimeter um, kit, but this one has 40 colors right here.
They're all rounds. So that is all I have. Let me know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite? And if you made it to the end of the video, leave some Christmas emoji so I know that you made it till the end. I would really like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. But other than that, I'm going to let you guys go because I've already been going for 25 minutes. So I'll see you guys later. Make sure to be safe and be kind. Bye.